I took my husband to garage sales with me and one of us hit the jackpot. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, this is an Anna Lee doll. I did pick this up. I think I paid $3 for that. Cha-Ching King just got an amazing Anna Lee doll haul. Definitely go check out that video. And Got Junk in Our Trunk also recently did a video on why she buys Anna Lee dolls. Definitely go and check out both those channels. I will link them in the description of the video. All right, you guys, we are just gonna kinda shop some garage sales today. Um, my husband went with me, super excited about that. Um, we had a great time. Uh, he's more of a flea market guy and I'm more of a garage sale girl. I'm hoping to get him to the Goodwill bins one of these days. He has never been there. <laughs> that should be interesting. So um, didn't get a whole lot at this sale, but I did find a few items, but I'm gonna tell you one of us hits the jackpot. And when I tell you, the jackpot to me it's awesome and amazing and i'm super excited about it there was a few things that i looked at here i had this elephant in my hand i thought about picking it up i looked up comps and it didn't comp out super high and you guys know how i feel about breakables it's right here it's a, like a teapot and i thought it was super cool and it has the little cup that goes with it but you know if it would have been a big money bolo, I would have done it, but comps just weren't that great. I did pick up these shoes. I want to say I paid three or five dollars for those, but they were in really great condition. They had the cute little fringe on them, so I did grab those. All right, looking at the clothes, not really doing the whole clothes thing much anymore, um, unless it's something vintage or something different or unique. I did look through these boxes, there was a bag of plush. I kind of got excited, but most of it was Winnie the Pooh. I personally don't have great luck with Winnie the Pooh. I feel like it's really, really long tail. I will pick it up if it's super cheap, but um, just didn't end up buying anything today in the plush. Plus it wasn't priced, so I'm not really sure how much it um, was. If you see something I missed during this video, definitely let me know in um, the comments. All right, heading over to this table. This is more of your hard goods, uh, you know, kind of the different stuff. I didn't really see anything that stood out that I wanted to get. My husband kind of looked through there. I don't know why I didn't get this Brutus the Buckeye. I don't think he had a, a tush tag, but he was super cool. Ohio State Buckeyes. I did pick up this Wheelies. Now, when I went to list this on eBay, it said it had a recall. So I looked it up and dug a little deeper and um, it is just for that toy that was in the photo. So go back and pause. And it's only for two of the cars. I think it said the red and the purple car. So just know that the one I had was not on the recall list, but it will pop up as a recall. So what I decided to do with that was list it on Mercari because I always worry about when... Um, something pops up on eBay as an alert of a recall, even if it's not a recalled item, I'm afraid it's gonna get flagged. So I just went ahead and checked it, made sure it wasn't on the recall list and put it on Mercari. The bag of Build-A-Bear clothes you saw, I paid $3 for all of those. I did pick that up. Only two things were listable, the rest were not in great condition. This guy I've got priced high because um, it's a retired stuffed animal and I can't find anything like it and it kind of, fits that Halloween or Easter category. So we'll see. I've got best offer on it. Doesn't hurt to list high and just see what happens, right? That is typically what I do is list on the high end of comps. And if there are no active listings, then I list it really high and um, put best offer and send offers. Over here, I find this amazing, I see it, I see it, I'm going for it, puppet. This thing is awesome. And at the end of the video, I show you exactly how he works. Um, I am not a great puppeteer, fear, uh, full warning on that, but uh, you'll see that at the end. Okay, now over here is more stuff. 
this, this was a pretty good garage sale. I found some cool stuff, but this is not where the jackpot is found. So stay tuned. Uh, I did pick up this scarecrow. It is a vintage item and you fill it with like leaves and stuff, which is pretty cool. A uh, great fall decoration. Those were foil balloons for like birthdays that you fill with helium. Uh, so I did get that. This right here was a mess. I was able to get that pretty much cleaned up and featuring my husband who is over here playing in the tools and he found some amazing items. Show me. Yep, those are snap-on. Of course he finds snap-on and he is keeping those. Yeah, I wonder what this is. Look, they have external jaws, and it's so you can stick it in something, grab it, and... Oh, wow, cool. Yeah, I've never seen them all right, you guys, so I grabbed these items from a dollhouse. I knew that I wanted these uh, plastic figures because I sell them all the time. I did look up this Toy Story, um, I think it was a telephone, and comps were good, but they had it priced high. They knew what they had. So back to the dolls in my hand, I'm going to show you close-ups. I, there was a big dollhouse and I'm going to show you it here in a minute. Uh, and there was a box full of stuff and I pulled these dolls out of it and I asked if they would sell them to me separately. And I got all of them for $6. Okay. I had no idea what I had in my hand. <laughs> I definitely hit the jackpot. Wait until you see this, you guys. It's just incredible. I'm wondering now if I should have dug a little deeper down in this box. I feel like now I should have tried to buy all of the furniture and just everything. Most of it was just newer items. I really feel like I got the best of the best. Um, but you just look back and you think, did I miss something? Because wait until you see these bolos. Oh my goodness. Um, right now, I went down into another uh, barn area, and I'm looking through here. There are some vintage dresses. I didn't end up getting any of these. Um, some vintage toddler dresses can do really well. Here is the first one. I sold her for $99.99, but wait, there's more. This one sold for $249.99. And I still have this one listed. I've got her up for auction for $249.99. And she's actually signed on the foot, but I don't know what it says. She is incredible also. And then I also found this little bear. And it's super cute. So I've got that one priced kind of high also. And just an incredible find. So then we went to this sale. And I'm looking at the loveys. And I tell you guys all the time, I pick up every lovey I find but I think he wanted either $3 or $5 a piece. And I'm just not paying that much. I'm too cheap for that. Uh, he had some totes over here for sale, but I do not need any totes right now because I am buying them from an estate clean out and I just got 10 more. All right. So they had um, some really, some good items here, but some of the stuff was just priced a little bit high or really not what I was looking for. Uh, there were some old radios my husband was looking at and chit-chatting about. There were some Halloween candles in there. Maybe I should have grabbed those, but I ended up leaving those behind. There is one more item that, um, actually three items that I pick up here, and I almost missed them because I was over in this section, um, and you'll see I go back over, and one of the items already sold. So I'm going to show you that, and the other two are active listings. So Creative Memories, I've talked to you guys about this a few times. I sold this one for $26 and I have two more listed. I paid a dollar each for those. Jelly Cat, this is at a whole new sale. This lady had attachments to her Jelly Cat. I don't think she really wanted to be selling them. I can't remember how much she told me they were, but it was definitely over what I wanted to pay. So I did talk her down a little bit, but I just still... I looked up comps. Nothing was like a big money bolo. They were bread and butter jelly cat. I do have a video on jelly cat if you guys want to check that out. Some of them can go for crazy big money, um, but a lot of them are bread and butter. So 
uh, I did end up putting those back. I carried them around for a while and I thought about it, but she just was not budging on the price. I also picked up a Halloween brooch here, but um, I don't think I show footage of it. And um, there's another big box of something that I grabbed. Can anybody guess? Go down in the comments. It's something I bought in bulk. <laughs> and of course, I haven't listed any of it yet. So if you can guess, that would be fantastic. It's kind of hard to just guess something like that. But what is something that I always buy and I never list? I always say I hoard it. I hoard it. I'm going to list them someday. But right now, I'm just buying. All right. So, and I'll talk to you more about it when I get to the actual item. There was a set of books right here. I do pick up sets of books from time to time. Those do pretty good over on Mercari. Um, I did not end up getting these. I think they wanted like 10 bucks for all of them. And I, you know, I probably would have been in it for three or four, but I didn't want to pay 10. And here we go. Are you guys guessing? If you guessed... If you guessed Legos, you were right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out the minifigures. I think I saw some Star Wars and stuff. I just haven't had time to get to it yet. I always do this with Legos. I buy them because I get them for a good deal. And then they just kind of sit because I don't have time to go through them and really spend the time to look each individual one up. So um, they're not going to lose their value. If anything, they're going to become more valuable as time goes on. They're going to become more vintage like my money pile. So I do pick up Legos often. All right, this is at a church sale. And um, looking through the plush here, I did not end up getting any of the plush. There is this cool orange plastic looking duck. Um, I did do uh, like Google image on it. I think I found one. It didn't comp out very high, but this one was in pretty good condition, but I don't know what it was for. So you guys let me know if you think I should have picked up this duck. Stay tuned. It's coming. <laughs> I'm still looking through the plush here. There was some little plush in there. I thought about, um, getting that, but ended up leaving it behind. I just have so much stuff. And I did pick up this amazing dish and my husband snagged it. All right, so here's the duck. Has anybody ever seen one of these? Like, what is this thing? It's kind of cool, right? Should I have got the duck? The orange duck? Let me know in the comments if you would have picked up the orange duck. All right. Lots of toys. That really uh, rocking horse was really cute. If I had like a booth at a, like a flea market or something like that, that would have been a great item, I think. I mean, I really don't know because I don't do booths, but I thought it was pretty cool. Nothing really caught my eye that I felt like I needed to have. There was some of those fruit and vegetables that are Velcro, hook and loop, um, but it wasn't like a complete set or anything. And I've never really sold those before, but there might be a market for that. Some Santas, I'm checking the bottoms. I'm looking for anything that is signed that... Um, or even folk art. I've done really good with some folk art lately. Um, artisan made items, pieces. Uh, so I do, I do look for those now. All right. All right, here it is. Look at this bowl. You can't see how amazing it is, but I think it says Japan on the bottom. Okay, now you can. It looks like a giant marble. I'm like, oh my goodness, that is beautiful. I can definitely sell that. And I showed it to my husband and he's like, it looks like a marble. I think he's the one that told me that. And I'm like, yeah, it does look like a marble. So he's going to hang on to that and put that with his uh, stuff that he likes to keep. He's got like a little display of items and it was a really neat, a really neat piece. And I think it was only a dollar. But just how they swirled the glass. Oh, it was so pretty. All right. There is a big giant jewelry box and I really don't know the market for those items. I thought about getting it and just stuffing it with jewelry and making like a really pretty display, but I ended up leaving it behind. I'm like, you will never do that, Courtney. Just leave it on the table. So um, these cookie molds, 
There are lots of different types. I do look those up because I have had some big money bolos, but most of them are bread and butter. I did grab this box of items. They are really, really cute. I'm just not sure how to list them. I don't know if I want to list them individually. I don't know if I want to list them as a lot. You're going to see the jewelry box and then we are going to end this video and I'm going to show you some footage of me with the puppet. Thanks for watching. Okay, Bella buddies, I found the most amazing puppet. Look at it. He's so cool. Hello. Hello. I am... I don't know my name. Okay, so I'm not very good at the, being the puppet master here. He's got this little collar. He does have a little bit of dirt around his face here, but um, he's from 1989. Um, this arm is here, but we also have this little pole that is supposed to be like, hey, you know, I don't really know how to be a puppeteer, but is he not the coolest? Hey, how y'all doing today? And underneath his glasses, he has these beautiful blue eyes. So, majorly cool. And you could also switch out the clothing and make it a girl if you wanted. But I think this is a dude because he is looking fine. Yeah. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, I see you. Quit looking at me. Hey everyone. I'm listing and <laughs> this is what I'm doing instead of listing. But anyway, uh, let me show you this guy. His feet do have the um, hook and loop here. So it can go around your waist. He is very, very big. So he's full body. Hand goes up into the back. Um, he's got this cool hat on. Hello. I am in my laundry room listing. So the stuff behind me and above me is all stuff that needs listed. It's been there forever. Um, I just never seem to get to it. Right here is the tag. It is a Mopkins and it says, let's see, Win Miller, all original create or an original creation Mopkins, 1977-1989. So I always go by the second date. And it's got like registration numbers and all of that good stuff. So I'm guessing the person that had it before just put this on there to kind of like move the arm around. Uh, but he's definitely cool. And he is going in my eBay store right now. See you later. Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's try that again. Thanks for watching. Ah! Okay, I'm having too much fun. See ya. Bye. Bye, bye. You can see my, uh, do you see the, in his glasses right there? That is something I picked up at the Goodwill bins and I use it all the time for stuff like this. So it holds my phone. Bye.